Hello, welcome to John Miller Guard Machinery. Hopefully by now you have seen some of our other YouTube videos. And like last time you haven't, get onto our YouTube channel. My name's Rob, I'm the sales manager at John Miller. So today, got the shorts on again, nice warm weather, not by choice, but that's a different story. We're gonna look at a few of our robotic mowers. Right then, so I'll run through quickly what we've got. We deal with the Honda Mimo, the Steel IMO, and probably six weeks ago or so, we took on the Navimo from Segway, which is a, uh, a new brand kind of in the garden robotic mower um, industry. So first of all, we'll look at the Mimo. All the mowers have various different sizes. Uh, the Mimo I'm gonna show you is their smallest one. Um, Mimo Live, the HRM40, uh, compact little robotic mower, kind of your average kind of back garden size. Mainly comes in a box with your cable and uh, all the pegs, everything you need to go in. Comes with the, um, I'll spin it around a minute for you. Comes the little swing tip blades on the bottom there. Um, easy controls, little screen, you set it up yourself and off you go. Um, this is a white one of the wired machines, so I'll talk about the Segway in a minute. But there's two different types of robotic like mowers. You get your wired machine, so you got your base station, your wire, and then you get a GPS machine, which is a base station with a GPS um, sort of staff next to it, which links up to a satellite, and you go from there. Not everything fits in every garden. GPS is more based for your open area, sort of uh, no tree cover, things like that. Your, your wired models are going to be for maybe more intricate areas where, you know, you're not too sure if the tree cover or you're going to have lots of overhang of growth is going to get in the way of the GPS signal. Right then, so that's your MIMO. So then... We'll go and look at the we'll look at the Segway next, as it's in the middle. So this is the Segway, the Navi mode made by Segway, should I say? This is a GPS model. Again, you know, a bit like the Hondas. You get your stop button. You got your little screen. This one's got the camera on the front, so your camera can pick up to a point where if you lose your GPS signal, your camera can kind of pick up and make sure your mower is not going to go and crash in the pond. Again, if I pick it up and turn it over, swing tip blades on this one. Um, so the difference with the screens on this compared to the other two models is you do it with your phone. So you have your iPhone or your Samsung, whatever you use, you will link that into the app on your Navimo and that's where you set all your information up on there. Um, so that is the Navimo. They come in lots of different sizes as well. It range from 500 square meters, I believe, up to 3,000. They've kept the model numbers nice and easy, the H500E for 500 square meters, and so on as you go through. I think it's 5, 8, 15, and 3,000 are the four models at the moment. Um, so that's your GPS one. So you need a staff, which comes with the, in the pack. Again, mainly aimed at your self-installation kind of setup. Um, it's a follow guide through your phone. You can't go to the next stage until you've done the stage previous and you've done it correctly. Um, so that's the Navimo. And then we go on to the Still IMO. So the Still IMO is our most popular brand. I'm not going to beat around the bush. We sell a lot of these and it, that, that number is increasing. This is a wired system. We've, had, we've done them now for probably 14 years when they used to be Viking and now still. Um, again, base station, um, wire around the outside. You can, move, you can uh, section off areas you don't want. So lots of different models. I believe there's about eight or nine different models in the steel range. Four series, five series, six series. And you can have standard, standard one mowers for the small back gardens. You get your extended area that's got the P model, and then you have the PC model, which is the one that connects to your phone. So again, similar options in the other two, 
but over a, probably a, a bit bigger array of models. Again, you know, stop button, height adjustment, screen, they're all very similar makeup. Difference on the back, if you look on here, you've got your, they do like a solid blade all the way through. Pros and cons to both, they both cut the grass well. If you, so the type of blade you have, it doesn't really matter. Nice thing about the steel one is, save you bending down, got a control panel that comes out. You can drive them around yourself if you want to. If you've got an awkward area, you can drive it into a corner. So nice little feature. Um, so let's say, that's the, um, this one's a 632P. So it's the medium range of the bigger um, series in the steel, in the steel brand. As I say, there's about eight, eight in, in, in the range. They're not, whichever model you go for, people think it's 100%, haven't got to do anything. Not quite right. We normally say it'll take 85% of your grass cutting away from you. You're still going to have a little edge to mow around the outside. And especially on new installations, you're going to have to give it sort of six to eight weeks to establish on the lawn, potholes, ins and outs. It will get stuck now and then. So you've got to be prepared to go out, do a bit of work and, um, and sort of help bed it in. Um, so that's basically a brief overview of robotic mowers like i said you know if you're fairly local to us we'll come out and do a survey not every garden is suitable for a robotic mower it just sometimes doesn't work um but we can come out and look at that if not we'll sell you a normal mower. um so any questions you can either get in contact us with uh, through the website or facebook um and as always don't forget to like and subscribe on the youtube channel cheers guys